Delegate Brink, let me begin with you. It seems as though expectations for the special session that begins Monday are very low, uh, floor scrapingly low, uh, <laughs> perhaps. Do you share in that uh, assessment going in? Well, no, Bruce, I'm, I'm an optimist, and, and I'm hoping that, that after years and years, as you pointed out, of kind of kicking the can down the road, that, uh, that we're going to recognize that there is a serious transportation problem in Northern Virginia, in Hampton Roads, and statewide that threatens our quality of life and our economic well-being, and that we'll get the will and the resources up to do something about it. What do you base your optimism on? Not as a general life view, which we certainly uh, affirm, but in the specifics of the, this issue and this session, which begins in 72 hours. Well, I, th I think a lot of the players come together on a, on a set of principles. One of them is that there is a serious transportation problem, uh, that, it, that it has to be addressed both on a regional basis and a statewide basis, and uh, that, uh, that if we don't do something about it, we're going to pay the price down the road. Senator Cuccinelli, what expectations, high or low, do you have heading into Monday? Well, I, I do think that all the initial tax proposals you've heard, I'm at least hopeful that they will not proceed forward. Um, and I think that that is likely to be the case. What I'm hoping is that once we hit that first log jam, that people then start to take a look at some of the alternatives that have really not gotten close scrutiny in the past. Things like um, rem taking the pol politicians out of the decision making for the NVTA uh, and putting congestion relief formula. You know, the trolley car there in Arlington where Bob lives was not a great encouragement for those of us who voted for the transportation bill in February last year um, it, with the notion that the NVTA would actually address regional transportation solutions well they didn't they uh you know they acted like stereotypical politicians with a new slush fund unfortunately and and it doesn't leave me with a great deal of confidence in, in going that route again until that is radically changed. All right, let me bring uh, Bob Chase into the discussion. Of course, we'll come back to you, Senator. You were sure. nodding your head as Delegate Brink was talking. Your sense of what might happen. Can progress be made Monday? Well, I don't think it happens on Monday, but I think progress can be made in this session or, or well, in, in, the next, in the coming weeks and months. Because I, I think there's, there's more agreement among delegates and senators as, as a whole than, there, than disagreement. And I believe if all 100 delegates and all 40 senators are given a chance to vote on all the legislation, mm. I think we can find consensus and we can get this done. We should not have a situation in which 